Today, we were announcing the first uh, chief heat officer in the history of the city of Los Angeles. Good morning, everyone. I'm honored to be here with you and also honored to be designated as the city of LA's first chief heat officer. Heat kills. Heat kills. We are called on to take more extreme proactive measures to solve that. We have to reduce hospitalizations and deaths that are caused by extreme heat. The number of extreme heat waves that are coming uh, through the city are increasing. The number of hospitalizations and deaths from extreme heat are increasing. So um, this is an immediate problem. We're taking big steps to reduce climate change, but we're also taking immediate steps right now to reduce the temperature from the way we pave streets to where we plant trees. You know, heat disproportionately harms uh, our black and brown communities, our elderly, our children, and this has to be the focus of any chief heat officer. Working with Dr. Eisman from UCLA with his um, mapping of the most vulnerable areas, and we're gonna combine that data to create this heat action plan. He joins one of the few cities in the world that recognizes the public health crisis uh, uh, that heat represents. Going forward, we have to figure out how to provide cooling, whether it's through trees, whether it's through shaded facilities, whether it's through cooled facilities. We have to be able to um, bring down the heat overall. And during extreme events, we have to give people access to, to cooling. Heat's coming. What's our plan? This summer, we want everyone to know that our facilities, like our pools, our rec centers, our libraries, and other places of refuge are there for our citizens.